name is uh, Naftali Aklu. I was born in Ethiopia in 1979 and uh, I made that year with my family when I was one year old in 1980. Uh, my family were among the first groups to do the journey from Ethiopia to Sudan and from Sudan to Israel. Actually, my brother was the first Ethiopian Jew to do the journey from Ethiopia to Sudan. Then he became a Mossad agent and he was the one that opened the gates for Ethiopian Jews to come via Sudan. So there is two versions of how the Ethiopian Jews arrived to Ethiopia. The first version is of course the version of King Solomon and Queen of Sheba. They had a son by the name of Menelik. And when Menelik was 14 years old, he came here to visit his father. He stayed here for a few months and after a few months, his father told him, listen, you have to go back to your mom. But King Solomon didn't send Menelik alone to Ethiopia. He sent 200 people to escort him. Those 200 people stayed in Ethiopia and some believe that we came out of them. The second version is during the destruction of the first temple when King Nebuchadnezzar came and conquered this area. Some tribes decided to escape. The tribe of Dan escaped to the south through the Nile River until they ended up in Ethiopia. In 1973, when the chief of Rabbi Ovadia Yosef may rest in peace, declared and announced that the Ethiopian Jews are Jews by law, he also mentioned that they believe belong to the tribe of Dan. And today, if you will ask today in the Israeli Ethiopian Jewish community to which version they believe, 75% will say we believe to the tribe of Dan version. Because a lot of people, when they see me, they see a Rastaman from Montego Bay, Jamaica. They don't see a Jew, but I'm Jew. Um, and it's like a surprise to a lot of people when they see me. Uh, so. This is how the Ethiopian Jews arrived to Ethiopia, stayed in Ethiopia for 2,500 years, and then came back after 2,500 years to Israel, back home to Zion.